Hi, and um, today I'm going to show you my little project that I've been working on for um, well, a couple of months since most of the parts come from China, as they do. This is my custom ionizer, not the basic diode capacitor, diode capacitor kind of array. This is basically like those mini arc lighters, as you see, these are the capacitors. Uh, transformers. I have two. Shamefully, I had to disconnect one because it was taking too much power and it wasn't arcing. So I had to get, get those cut. If I can show you that. Yeah, there's one of my wires and here's another and a few at the back being cut. So it's just this one that that's now runs. Here's my test arc cables. And what I've done is to well it's not complete it still needs a few parts like some and um, what do I need a 10k diode and a few 10k capacitors yeah they're not cheap for the high voltage value but um, what I've got going is I've got 12 volts coming in here which then goes through a smoothing capacitor and what I've done is I've, is I've got an array of three um, voltage regulators to drop down from 12 volts, I believe down to do, 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 five, no, six volts. And then from here, I've gone through another smoothing capacitor to, just to make sure it comes out smooth. Can't say my words today, you've been working absolutely knackered. And then, uh, right, this is when it gets a bit messy and it's a bit more than a standard arc setup. Here, it's a standard um, fan connector, got three of them. This one is my switch. Um, and bridge the first pin to the second for high power. And I connect the first pin to the third pin for medium power and this indicator is a by LED which indicates two colours depends on what power settings I'm on these two are fan headers which I do have two fans here which will be um, in this box which I'll sh show you in just a few minutes and so that controls the power this will power up the fans no matter which setting they go to um, these are some diodes, some N one double oh sevens, I believe. And uh, what they do is, when I'm not using the six volts, this will drop down the voltage even more using the voltage drop, as the diodes normally like to do. Of 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts each. So I'm going to lose about one point voltage and um, since I'm using quite a bit of ampage I've put them in series as well as parallel to get 4 amps that's 1.4 voltage drop then um, we come to here which is my oh, I can't get my words out today and um, this is my transistor which is a high frequency transistor which helps make this a flyback circuit, which I control by this um, verbal resistor. Depends on the voltage, I might have to fine tune it here. It um, goes to my transformer, which produces the arc, which I need to do right after, right after I get this cooled down, since my transistors are completely burning up after about 10 seconds of runtime, which is not ideal if it's going to be an ionizer constantly plugged in. And with a, this high voltage output, I believe of 10k, 9k, give or take, I've got to go through that system which I previously mentioned. And I got a few more bits and bats like here's my switch that'll be mounted on the case some spurs and goodies. Right, so let's have a look inside. Oh god, come on, focus. Here we go. 
This is my power bank. I found one of these spur from a laptop power supply, which gives me a 12 volts. About 13 really, but yeah, 12 volts. Which um, goes to the mains, that will go to my circuits. Now, the fans will be mounted over here, two side by side, connected to my fan headers. The circuit's going to lie down here, and I made this custom ionizer needles, which ejects the negative ions into the atmosphere, and that should line up roughly here. So the fan will bring in the um, dust particles, in turns, gets ionized, and what happens when they're ionized, it basically gets pushed out to trying to find some positive areas. But, but instead I thought, I want it a bit stronger, so what I've done is, when the ions come here, it gets attracted, so it produces velocity in a, in a way, so it's like self-assisting. The fans help, but this produces its own like accelerator to push this way and what I've, how I've done that is I've got some plastic pieces here made some like bins and then I've put foil around it I'm being cheap about it since metal sheets are just a bit too expensive for this project it's already costing me a good I don't know 60 quid probably 70 quid in total to get this built um, so yeah this is connected to this wire which I call it my ground wire this will in turn go to my circuits and it should connect to I believe it will be this side it's my most neutral connection because when it goes through the diode and then through the capacitors that has a high output so the low output is always neutral or ground as I'll call it so because that's technically um, less charged it will try to jump to it so that's what happens and all this will be full of dust so this is a bit like a collector dust collector rather than it went into the atmosphere and um, trying to find radiators or walls and let all the nastiness build up and darken up your walls which nobody wants on the ionizer, this should collect a lot of it. Which there is a sliding piece here, which I'll be putting grills. This side there'll be the grill, and then maybe some carbon paper, um, oh, carbon foam, to uh, neutralize some of that bad odor. The ionizer will do that as well, but every little helps. Here will be another metal grid which will have a prong so when it closes it makes contact and it does a bit of pressure which will just make sure that it always touches when it slides on and this will be also a metal mesh um, and then it will just come out like this so you can slide the tray out to clean the metal grill wipe this down slide it back in you're good to go and my switch which I showed either will be on this side Oh, this side, but I think this might be the best side since keep all my switches and power supply on this end, keep this side nice and clear, just cosmetic looks and all that good stuff. And I will be having external LED since I've got one in here, but for people who want to see if it's working, it will show up over here as well. So that's uh, my current update on my project. I know it's my first video, I should have sh took some videos or pictures from start to this point. But I've been busy and I didn't think anyone might be even interested. So if you're interested to see the, well, the updates and um, see that if I get it complete, um, please follow, like, if you like, subscribe. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.